Hello YouTubians, here we have some fantastic early aviation postcards that I'm going to show you which I've just recently bought from my um, local antiques market. The first one is uh, features an aeroplane flown by Wilbur Wright. Uh, it's a French postcard and the interesting thing about this one is the advertises uh, corsets on the back for some strange mystical reason don't ask me what the link is between underwear and aeroplanes um, although I can imagine it being a bit nippy a bit cold flying those aeroplanes so some thermal underwear would come in handy and then on to the next one we have Monsieur Latham's, um, I think that's how you pronounce him, flying machine. Now he is the first guy to attempt to fly across the um, the British Channel, a uh, large stretch of uh, water here in the UK. And um, he was unsuccessful. So he got second prize, and uh, he, he managed to become the first person to land on water successfully. <laughs> but the guy that managed to um, actually successfully uh, cross the channel was none other than M Monsieur Louis Blériot. He went from uh, Calais to Dover. On the 25th of July 1909. And the fantastic thing about this postcard. Is the actual postmark. Because it uh, was sent. It was posted just less than two weeks. After the event. So can you imagine. You know it must have taken some time. To actually um, issue and publish. These postcards. So uh, he was probably one of the first ones. To send this off. And the guy who sent this. And there's a little message on the back. It says, have you one like this with your collection? Have you taken an interest in Blario? So it's someone sending a card to an early postcard collector. A postcard collector from 100 years ago. Over 100 years ago. So that's pretty cool. And if you didn't think uh, we could top that, check this out. Um... A First World War air raid uh, postcard. Now, of course, Blair, Monsieur Blériot um, proved that you could cross a large stretch of water like the uh, British Channel. And so the Germans put that to the test and carried out the first ever air raids of uh, Britain in 1916 but the trouble was the aeroplanes weren't designed for long flights and you didn't want to be uh, running out of fuel across the channel because otherwise you un unless you were a good swimmer of course so uh, but in 1917 they designed the i believe they designed the uh, gotha an improvement a long distance plane and um this one uh basically shows an air raid that was carried out on the 22nd of august 1917 and during that time um apparently they attacks the town of folkestone in kent so uh but they must have shot this particular airplane down well during those first air raids there were lots of casualties uh, civilian casualties because people weren't prepared for them uh, like they were in the Second World War. There weren't so many of them. You know, it was a bit of a an experiment, and in some cases, obviously, it went wrong. So uh, it's pretty cool. I thought you'd uh, like to check out those really early and uh, historic postcards of aviation. And I'll be bringing out another video of uh, another one of my rare movie star, 1920s movie star sets in the near future. Either tomorrow or in the next few days. Please keep your eyes open for that and see you later.